This is a tutorial on how to install App Armor on Ubuntu 12.04. On the VM I'm using, uh, this machine is currently fully up to date. So make sure that your system is up to date so that you don't run into installation problems. We're going to use sudo to get App Armor and App Armor Utils. After that, um, you're also going to want to get App Armor Profiles. So install that. And the profiles generate the uh, Etsy AppArmor.d um, profiles. Uh, there's some preset profiles for commonly used applications like Firefox. So you get App Armor profiles. All right, so uh, in this tutorial, we're also going to generate uh, a profile for the command line browser links. So install that. And you will need to generate the profiles in a separate window because we're using a command line application. If you were using a GUI application, you could just run that and then run the profile generation in the same terminal. So in this new terminal, uh, and you have to run this as sudo, but you're going to run AA gen profile. Um, and then you put in the application name as the parameter. So for this example, we're using links. So you do sudo AA gen prof and then uh, links. All right, so it is now profiling. And uh, in the next terminal, uh, we're going to open up links and do some basic internet browsing. Uh, we're going to go to www.virus.com. And it requires JavaScript is typical. So we're going to go to Google, run a Google search, do some more basics. AppArmor has three uh, modes it can be in, enforcing, complaining, and learning. So right now you could consider it in the learning mode. It's keeping track of uh, the different events going on, what you're doing with the application. So now we're going to go back to the profile generation window. As you can see, uh, when you hit S for scan, you can see the uh, different decisions AppArmor is letting you make. For each of these profile categories, you can allow or deny. And uh, once you've gone through all of them, you can hit F for, you save the changes and then hit F for finish. And it will create the profile for the application that you just used. So now if we go to Etsy AppArmor.d and check out the files there, we will see a file for links, user bin links. And if we VI into this file, we will see all the decisions we've made. Alrighty, so we have installed AppArmor and generated a profile.